Hi, I'm Margie Remmers Davis with Crystal Clear Cashflow, creator of the Fast and Easy Way to QuickBooks Online Pro Advisor Certification. In today's practice exercise, we are going to take a look at Section 1, Lesson 7. Um, and the exercise that we're going to be doing is creating a basic onboarding task list. Now, if you would like a copy of this exercise, you'd like to learn more about our courses, just visit the links in the description. And uh, let's go ahead and get started. So our scenario is you have just signed on a new client and you would like to create a task list to make sure all of the onboarding items get completed. You will not be doing payroll for this client. However, you do want to remember to schedule a follow-up meeting. Now, this exercise you have to do in your QBOA account. You can't do it in the sample company because task lists are just for you. So, um, so if the first thing you're going to do is you're going to head over to your sample company, or not your sample company, head over to uh, your QBOA account. That's the only place that you can do this. And, um, and once you are in there, then from the left navigation bar, you're going to click work. You might get this. Uh, if it's the first time you've ever done it, you'll probably get this, and you'll just go ahead and close out of it. Um, don't worry about it. And here is uh, a bunch of my tasks. Here's some more pop-ups. You always have to worry about that. So um, yours will probably be empty if this is the first time you've ever done any um, any kind of, uh, any if this is the first time you've done any kind of task list or project. So um, the, after we have done that, then the next thing we are going to do is in the upper right-hand corner, click the green create project button. So we were in work and now we're going to click create project. All right. So then the next thing is we're going to select client onboarding from the project template list. Okay. So here's our project template list. We're going to select, here's a project template list. We're going to select um, client onboarding right there. And then in the exercise, the next uh, thing we want to do, there's a bunch of things. So let me just pull it up on the screen here. So in step five, we're going to do a bunch of things. We're going to fill in the project template um, by creating the project name as sample onboarding. We're going to say that this is a project for my firm. We're going to say our due date is the first of next month. So I am filming this in February, so I'm going to say that it's March 1st. I'm going to turn off the repeat slider and um, I'm just going to say these are the things I need to remember to do for my new client. So let's do um, all of that stuff. Let me pull that up. Okay, so our project name here is going to be sample onboarding. I can type. Always pressure when you're on camera. <laughs> so I could select uh, my clients or uh, my firm. The due date, as I said, we're going to set it up for the first day of next month. So March 1st, my repeat slider is off. So I can have um, I can have that be as often as I want. I'm repeated as, as I need to, but in this case, we're not going to do that. And I'm just going to say, these are the things I need to remember to do for my client. Okay. And you'll notice as I scroll down that there are a bunch of tasks. Okay. Now, remember that um, we said in the scenario that this client doesn't is going to have payroll. So I'm going to go ahead and delete payroll. So that is step six. Oops. Get on my right screen here. Okay, so that's step six. We're going to delete payroll right here. And I'm just going to do that by clicking on the task and then clicking the little trash can that says remove. Okay. And now I'm going to go ahead and say yes to that. And then I also have to add a task. Remember, I wanted to add a task to remember to follow up. 
So to add a task, I'm going to go down here, click Add Task. And uh, let's see, what did we say? We're going to add the task, enter the task name as schedule follow up meeting. So that's schedule again, just close the pop ups. Schedule follow up, follow up meeting. Okay, I'm going to choose a due date that is um, before the first of the month. So um, I said I want all of these things done by March 1st. So I'm going to say my due date is um, the 28th. Okay, and let's see our next step. Click close. Go ahead and click collapse on here. It says click collapse to close the task. If desired, you can reorganize the you can reorganize the tasks by um, moving the little dots thing if you want to. Um, and let's see what is our next step. Okay, step eleven. We're going to save to add the project to your work dashboard. So I'm going to hit save. <gasps> Ta-da! I'm getting a message. You just created your first project. You may or may not get that message. I feel like I've created tasks or projects before in this, but anyway. So now you have in your very own QBOA account, you've created a this project, and maybe you don't actually want it there because we were just testing. So how am I going to um, delete the tab? Delete it. So to delete the sample project, what we're going to do is step one, locate the project tile. Now you can um, tell a project tile um, from a just a task because of the um, because of this little bar here. So if it says zero of a number, that means it's just one task inside a project. So we need to find the project. Um, and we have right here sample project. And um, in step 11, it says, I'm, yeah, I'm sorry, step two of this little extra thing, it says we can just change um, this and be canceled. Or you can actually click inside the project and then click this little trash can. So either of those is fine. I'm going to go ahead and click canceled. And that's it. We are done with this lesson. If you found this video helpful, make sure and give us a like. If you would like to be notified every time that we post a new exercise video, then make sure you click subscribe and the little bell. And if you have any questions about this lesson, make sure that you comment below and I will get back to you right away. And that's it. I'll see you in the next one.